Hello friends. Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvements. For today's video, I'm gonna show you the GPS tracking device I installed on my vehicle, and how you can also do it on your own. So let's go. So a GPS tracking device provides various information on a manufacturer's platform either through a web browser, or through the mobile application they provide. From there, you may view the location of your vehicle with an accurate coordinates. You can also view replay of your previous trips. The platform may allow you multiple tracking devices on one account, and simply select the specific device you want to check, the date and time, and you're good to go. Let me show you my recent trip kept in the platform's history. In here, you can see the starting point and the route of my trip. What is also good about it is that, it does not only support GPS, but as well as GSM. A SIM card can be inserted on the device, and by just making a call on it, a message containing a location link is sent via SMS that you may open via Google Map. This device is a Sinatrack Mini GPS Tracker, ST901, and can be bought on most online shopping platforms at around 700 pesos only. Cheap yet can definitely serve its purpose. An option can be selected to have a built-in battery that can last for a few hour. As mentioned, it can support GPS, GPRS, GSM and SMS positioning and tracking. It is supported with a geofence and overspeed alarm. Now, how did I install it? Simply, remove the top cover of the device by unscrewing the two screws using a screwdriver. Then, you will now have access to the SIM card slot. Insert your SIM card on a correct orientation as indicated in the device. As you can notice, the device is already energized. I already have connected it to the 12V DC power supply and the relay beneath my steering wheel. I chose to connect it to an always active power supply for a continuous recording as the battery can only last for a few hours. Just follow the wire color coding stipulated in the manual for connection to the positive and negative terminals of the supply. You can find two LEDs lit in blue and orange for the GPS and GSM status respectively. Blinking LEDs means no signal. After a few moments of initializing, the LEDs will be lit continuously signifying that the device is working properly. You may now close the lid and screw it into lock the top cover. Hide the tracking device beneath the dashboard or anywhere you want. Better secure it with a cable tie to prevent unnecessary movement. Then, return the lids of the car cover beneath. To enable the tracker, send an SMS to the mobile number of the tracker with 8-0-3-0-0-0-0 space the APN of your service provider, in my case it is internet.globe.com.ph. It will reply with a system generated message of set OK. After which, send another text message with 8040000 space 45.112.204.245 space 8090 to set the tracking device to their server. Then, another system generated message of set OK will arrive shortly. On your browser, open the Sinatrack website at www.sinatrack.com, then a login page will prompt. A mobile version of the platform is available for download on both iOS and Android. It has completely the same functionality with that of the website. Then, in the login section, select Sinatrack Pro as the server. Use the device ID number as the user, and the password by default is 123456 but is still locked until you contact the seller for activation of the account. 
Then, click Login. After logging in, you'll be redirected to the home page of the platform. Click on the monitor to test if the server detects the device's GPS. Check the location and compare it with your actual location if they're the same. If it is, then you're all set. You may explore the device's functionalities by navigating onto the platform so that you may be able to maximize its features. So that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope we'll each other again on the next videos. This is a